Hey guys, Mr. STB here again with uh, another tutorial. Uh, this one is it's kind of a tutorial. It's not really a good tutorial, but it's it's good to like uh, have and not need than to need and not have. So uh, this is for some of the people. It depends what kind of game you're making, but basically what it is, I'm gonna make it so that while you're playing, okay, little sound there. Uh, if you push a button, you you'll like uh, hold your gun to the side, so you practically won't be aiming it. So like say you meet another player if your if your game's multiplayer. If you meet another player, you can put your gun down just to like show you're friendly or something. Or just if you want to put your gun down. Or you can have like safe zones in your world where you have to put your gun down, say you're doing like a zombie survival game or... I don't know, maybe you just want to put your gun down. Like, well, not literally down, but you know, lower it. As if you're sprinting, but not sprinting. But I'm only going to have it so that if you're not moving, if you want, I can change it to have a walking animation. But that can take forever, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so you open up your player script that's attached to the animation game object. Let's open that up, and this is it. Um, okay, so practically what it is. Wait, is this the right one? That is the right one. You can close these. Don't need them. Um, I'm just gonna add another state to our player. Um, so let's go ahead and start by uh, going to Unity, clicking on Animations, and creating a new animation. So obviously, create a new clip. Uh, what would I call the others? Let's go to script, not scripts, animations. Um, let's just go with gun down idle animation. There we go. Goes with the flow. Okay, so let's start recording. Click on the big transform so it highlights all of them. Create a new keyframe, and we just practically want to move our gun until we like it. This is what it's going to be when he's holding it down. Maybe a bit closer, maybe a maybe bit down, a bit more angle, not too much angle, that'll do. And yeah, and then move along the line, say 130, it doesn't really matter, you just go for 30, add another keyframe, change this to loop, and we want to make it look like it's a bit moving, so let's just change the keys a bit. I'll just get rid of some decimal places. That's practically all I ever do. And it gives like a breathing sort of animation. But you can just play around with that, that's completely up to you. That guy's a bit crazy, just move it along a bit. It's good enough. Okay. So now we want to add the button, so let's go to project settings, input and let's change this to 20 which would basically duplicate the last one which was reload change the R to uh, whatever button you want, I'm going to change it to E I'm going to change this to gun down gun down, basically raise and lower the gun um, so yeah let's go to our script now we want to create a new function first of all uh, gun down no, actually, we'll, we'll do this button clicker. Clicker. And add a couple of lines. Copy this. Paste it in the update function. Close it off with a semicolon. Um, now let's go ahead and create a new variable. Uh, okay, we're going to call this literally gun down. And that's going to be a Boolean, yeah, boolean, false, no full stop, semicolon. Okay, now we got a boolean. Um, so with this boolean, we want to create uh, so that if we push a button, it switches it. So let's quickly do that. We're gonna have an if uh, input oh dot get button down. Uh, what's this? This is this is going to be the gun down, gun space down. That's exactly what we called it in the input here, gun space down. And then we're going to add some, oh, going to add some curly braces. Another if statement inside. Actually, we'll indent this, just because everybody likes indenting, and I don't. But okay, so in wait, what am I going to write? Uh, if 
Okay, so in this if we want uh, this gun down, so let's copy this. If gun down equal true, you want it to you want to set it to false, and then we want an else, another if if it's equal equals false, you want to set it to true. So, pretty easy. Practically just switching them around. If it equals true, we set it to false. If it equals false, we set it to true. So practically like a switch. And because it's only get button down, every time you click the button down, it'll change. So we can quickly check that out. Let's go to save. Let's click on animations in the game object. You see this box here? This will tell us whether it's up or down. So as you can see, we push the button. It ticks and unticks the box over here. So that's what we want. So basically setting it active and not setting it active just looks nice. Now we want to copy this. Copy. Go down. Now just in front of the player state zero, use that else. Just enter twice and paste that in and let's replace that else. Else. I guess now we've got these. Instead of player state one, it's going to be minus one. Aiming in equals false, yes. Um, actually, we'll get rid of that. Let's we'll keep the not input fire two, and we don't care whether we're grounded or not. So let's get rid of grounded. Okay, so there's our if statement. We want to copy that and add two and signs which is the hold shift and push seven or whatever the hell keyboard you got that's my keyboard UK I don't know <laughs> and then paste and then change that to fire one so if you're shooting he'll take it off the gun down um, now the big thing we want gun down to equal true so in front of the inputs paste gun down equal equals true and then add the ship 77 add signs and then play state is going to equal minus one which we haven't made yet so let's copy the zero uh, make a couple of spaces paste it in get rid of some spaces and change that to minus one uh, instead of idle animation we're going to have our gun down idle animation yep that's right now we can actually just go take a look I think this will work Okay, see if we push E, he brings the gun down. Aim in, he brings it up. Shoot, he brings it up. Walk, he brings it up. And obviously, sprinting, he brings it up. And if we push E again, it should be back to normal. So it's just a nice little feature to add in your game. <laughs> okay, the next tutorial, I'll do it if you walk into a wall, he lifts the gun up. You know, just like uh, they do in most games. And then after that, I'll do switching guns. But uh, stay tuned and subscribe, like this video, and uh, thanks for 1,000 subscribers today. So, yeah.